Real Estate Minute starts now. Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Minute. I'm your host, Ivan Strada with Keller Williams. And here we are at the Mr. Bones Pumpkin Patch in the city of West Hollywood, where you can do pony rides, the petting zoo, or carve a pumpkin. Now the Real Estate Minute's gonna work this way. There are three segments, one minute each, three minutes total. Let the Real Estate Minute begin. So when it comes time to buy a home, where will you get your loan from? A direct bank, such as B of A, City or Wells Fargo, or will you use a mortgage broker? Well, there's advantages and disadvantages to both. First, a mortgage broker. They will actually go out and negotiate the best interest rate for you. They will go to private lenders, credit unions, trusts, and big banks to get the best interest rate. Now, the downfall to this is, if you have a low FICO score, this might tack on some additional fees and or points to your loan. Now, if you go with a direct bank, such as B of A, City, or Wells Fargo, and you have a working relationship with them, such as an auto loan, credit cards, checking and saving accounts, this would probably be the best option to get the best interest rate. Now, if you don't have a working relationship with a bank, you're gonna have to do some legwork. You're gonna have to go out and try to negotiate the best interest rate to different banks. And the downfall for this is that they don't offer as many services as a mortgage broker, and they are also very stringent on who they offer loans to. So Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi are on the move again. They just recently sold their house up in Hidden Hills for the price of $10.8 million. Ellen bought this 26 acre property back in 2009 for the price of $8.5 million and like she does with all her properties, flipped it right away. Now the ranch itself has eight little cottages, all with their own style. Some are modern, some are traditional, some are cottagey. There's also two yoga studios, a barn for entertainment. There's a ranch office, a tree house, a tennis court, and there's also a stable that will fit over 12 horses. Now the property itself has tons of privacy, views to the San Monica Mountains, and the only thing this house doesn't have is a swimming pool. Now here's some private amazing footage of this amazing compound. I should probably buy this. So how did this government shutdown affect the real estate industry? Or did it affect it at all? Well, the country itself lost $24 billion in the matter of three weeks, and there's another deadline coming January 15th. This could really have a negative impact on the real estate industry. So how would this affect the real estate market? So in order for a lender to process a loan, they need to confirm a person's identity and also check out their IRS background. Now, this was not possible during the government shutdown. Now, the IRS was shut down and also other agencies which confirms people's identities was closed as well. If this were to happen again, then processing alone would be pretty much impossible. Not that I'm foreseeing this to happen, but it's definitely nice to keep this in mind in case you wanna buy a property before January 15th. So thanks for watching this month's Real Estate Minute. I'm your host, Ivan Estrada with Keller Williams, signing off from the Mr. Bones Pumpkin Patch here in West Hollywood. So I have my scooper, I have my pumpkin, I'm gonna go have a party with myself. Oh yeah, here are this month's deals. <laughs>